Hello everyone and welcome to Hiveset Cast. Tonight we have match match between Daedal and between Duplex. I forgot to name teams again, so teams Duplex and Daedal. I hope I'm pronouncing it wrong not wrong. So what's happening? We have Whoa my god, we got a base rush. This can be this can be over in a second. Holy crap, this this is just plain lucky. Oh my god. The CC is a 30%, 20%, 10%. Oh my god. 9% and they dropped flight control immediately. Because they know the marines will be busy repairing that command console now. Look at that, Skulk's pushing it again. And Commander has to jump out. Depo, and he got it. Command console at 8%, guys. This is now panic mode for Marines. Man, I have to name teams early on. This will be the death of me. But, what's this? One marine and a hive. Chop, chop. Now all the skulks need to react to this. Still chop, chopping. There's grease in uh, crevice, trying to work on that. Veery versus four skulks, no chance in hell. Eaten alive. Now grease is coming in. And kind of bad that the hive is healing up when it's growing, you know. Hive is back at 100%, so it's not actually effective to have it that way. CC is welded up, and that's. Rest Marines didn't plan to lose because they had to drop 10 on this, 10 on research welders, and somebody had to bought it. Oh, we got some Skulk action here. Flight control is finished and they got enough rest for Leap. But nothing happening there. Hmm. By watching at the... Uh, oh, nice bash there by Tequila. There is a funny story though. Chlamydia is in spectator for Daedal, but uh, Hunter is commanding for their team. We do have a marine push. Although the hive is done. Dropping more hydras. Good control over the pistol from Greasy. We got a whole alien team dead. Currently. And here they come again. We're gonna focus on Jones here. Look at that gang rape by Skulks. Works looks just plain awful. Being a marine that is. Uh, we got a counter push on the other hive. Now we are really fast. Working on the RT. Denying arrest for aliens. Oh wait my god, the aliens got only one RT, so if they lose this one. And if they drop the next one, they could easily get rest locked. Yeah, they just dropped one in flight. And if Marines manage to get that one, it's pretty much GG. Unless Skulks manage to do something again. But looks very, very good for Marines at this point. Leap is almost done, but if they get this hive, <clears throat> they're focusing on eggs. They don't want to deal with the whole Skulk thing and then having them all spawn in. Look at that. Three Skulks moving in, on four Marines. Weary is trying to be the Skulk bait. Yeah, Marines choose us. Aliens are waiting for that leap, you know, oh, there you go. There you go. Look at that. That's just plain old rape. Oh, Greasy is staying alive down there. Jones. 
Oh, bash. Another bash. Beer gets a pistol kill for the end. Look at that, chilling like a boss. What's up, guys? I'm just lying around here, not doing anything. Okay, let's get back to game. What's happening here? Nothing much by the looks of it. Again, we got some preparations for... Reactor core push. <coughs> God damn it. I've been casting the whole day again. By the rate this casts go, I can't um, get the darn encoding done in time. Because there's always games to cast. But I think it's mostly due to it's weekend and I have yesterday's game to encode, today's game to encode. Actually, I'm pretty much done with the, not yesterday's, but two days ago. So, you can expect them to pop out by the time this will be up, and the games will be probably up for a day or two. Oh, Jones. And again, we got a Skull Crush. Command station taking damage. There's just too many Skulks in main, but there's no rest for a beacon. And immediately, when the rest gets beacons, commander jumps out and... I love that alien play for rest in the main base, forcing those beacons. And as Marines got this RT back, they got beaconed. Again, two Marines pushing for the Atrium Hive, which is at 87%. And Phase Gate is down. Oh, I didn't think they could benefit from a sneaky Phase Gate, but they don't have the rest for it. They are denying the Fades pretty good. Aliens are sitting at cozy 27, 28 rests. And if Marines do get a rest lock on them... Oh, come on, guys. 30, 20, no. Denied. There's no chance we will get all those calks. What's happening now? Marines getting sub and ventilation again, so they're up to three rest notes. I love the constant skulk aggression. Look at that. Can't believe it's working so good in their favor. It's probably because of the initial rush. Uh, to the main base. They forced that armory and they forced those welders, so it didn't go well. One is down, two is down. Nice pistol kills by Jones. An armory observatory could go down. It's not gonna happen. This one gets back into his cozy chair. <coughs> We got light working on the RT. Hunter could go down easily. Yeah, gorge down, but here come his pissed friends and they killed light with no problem there. Oh. Uh, Crevice RT is going down pretty fast. And the recent health buff to uh, Alien Harvesters really shows here because one Marine can't solo out axe all the RTs on the map. Look at that. Denied again. Aliens lost as much RTs as Marines almost did. Marines 7, Aliens 4. And Marines are losing their 8th one. Look at that. Three Skulks working on one RT at a time. There's no even point of recycling, but because by the time the recycle happens, the RT is going to be down anyway. And again, three skulls going for main base. Light building a phase gate in main, and if Marines got this one up, yeah, they do. Even if they're, they beacon, they can easily repressure that hive. So that's actually something to notice. Aliens got a one hive, it's shift, and that's the one in atrium. Beacon is down in main. As we see the ops exploding, could be a... Uh, nope. 
Ops did explode. So we do need to see Marine Commander dropping out of the chair. That's exactly what's happening here. We got uh, Marines coming back to Atrium Hive now. But with that phase gate, the reinforcements should be made easy. Mines are being dropped behind it. Well, celerity is completed. There are no gorges in the Atrium Hive, so they could still get it, but those cults are being annoying. Marines just need to keep shooting more at the... Oh, look at that smart sys droppings. So they actually deny those mines. Right assist spread, scouts move in for the kill. Oh, but Weary has no luck there. Jones also dropping out. One pistol killed by Jones, but what enough time for one more Marine to jump out. You can really see what's happening here. Scouts are jumping on and through the phase gate, and phase gate is around 25 ish percent. They still attacking the hive, and hive is down to 38 percent. Nine, six, four, two, one, and the hive is down. So good job by good job by marine team pressuring this alien hive, alien rest note. And why would alien even drop the RT in the middle of all this? They did clear out the phase gate, but still, they can easily get locked down now. Hunter saying he bugged the comm, so it could be that he can couldn't get out of the chair for some reason. Well, it's still beta, so look at that. How do you like the effect, guys? I know I'm missing some action in Crossroads and uh, some in Subsector. <laughs> Actually, I'm not missing anything in Cross, more in Subsector. And good control with pistol from Beery. Again, we got four Skulks mass in ventilation. We still got some leaping Skulks up here. Probably because they didn't die yet, because you don't you retain your upgrades until you die. Oh, getting one. Weary trying to get the other Skulk here, but not working in his favor. In the meantime, there's one Skulk working on that. Oh, nice kill by Weary. Light moving in for ventilation node. I think they're gonna get it. Oh, yeah. Atrium Hive is redropped. Marines are waiting on the rest for a phase gate. But it lost a lot of rest nodes for that. There's one more in computer lab. For aliens, that is. Marines need to get one. Greasy alone versus a few skulks. Oh, and if Tequila gets that egg. No, not happening. And the gorge is out. Oh, look at that. Another marine lying in atrium, like a boss. Sea lab RT goes down. Oh, sorry, wrong button there. Working on the cyst and dropping a PG. So we're gonna see some pressure going for the uh, flight control hive. What's happening in marine base? Can't see advanced armory being deployed. No arms lab whatsoever, so upgrades are denied. That's pretty much because of this, guys. And Marines do benefit a bit for the, from those mines. Jones should wait, in my opinion, to get that Sea Lab RT up. Oh, look at that. Aliens just getting up the blink. They're getting close. 
two of their players got 45 and 46 rest respectively. But that hive is protected by so many Hydra. They do go down. Look at that. Oh no, Weary. We don't want to do that. We get one Skulk in main base, jumping on a mine. Swalk. Sure he can take him down and does. We got one more skull coming up. Good interception by Marines, and in the meantime, there's a rape happening in the middle of flight control. <laughs> the Dark T never was dropped, it could have repaid itself out by now. No. Skjorten is hiding in the back. We're just getting no oh nice jump by those mines and mine save those marines. At least one that is. Well Kurgi gonna go back with only two percent health. And for Skulk two percent is like one health, so <laughs> Oh my god, Greasy is still working on the RT. So the only one Aliens got now is the one in Crevice, and with 24 rests, again, they could easily get rest locked. Marines do need to get some upgrades out, and now they got the four RTs. We should see that stat because Fades will be hitting the field in like now. We got enough rests for one of the players to go fade. And the flight. The flight RT goes down, there's one more up somewhere, it's in crevice, and if they get that one, aliens will be rest locked. No, they won't. I'm, I'm talking nonsense. We have a fade out, it's Valkyrgy. I don't know if that was a fade egg drop or something. Oh... Yeah, Orion's got it out pointed nicely. Fade almost got effed up. Oh, Tequila. Working a nice unison with the Skulk. But Tequila is quite skilled with a shotgun himself. Tequila again jumping out, trying to hit that Fade, but... Fade can pretty much take on um, mines all day, especially now with the carapace upgrade. Oh, almost. We got one more guy fading, it's Pipo. Pipo. And the RT in crevice is getting healed up by Gorge. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Smart mind placement. Well, Marines all over the place. Those mines really not doing anything to the fates. Armor 1 just started and that's gonna help those marines survive for more than 2 hits from a fade. So currently three fades on the field. Command station on the Marines attack. really pressured against it. There's a second CC dropped and we got advanced armory. No proto lab in sight yet. 
think they should have a backup phase gate up here. Up here. Because this one in Seal Lab will be down in a second. But look at that. RT trade off has been almost the same, but aliens lost so much more because they lost one hive, they lost the upgrade chamber. So the rust loss for alien is much higher than for marines. But resources collected is pretty much the same. Oh, Piper almost lying there. Still trying to go with 50%. And that fade is already away. We are retaking the shotgun back. Now there's the second fade. And there's the third fade. I'm missing one fade from the back. No fades died, but they are keeping a. Oh, and <laughs> Paige is in the slash by Blinken. And they cleared out easily. No grind on the gate, but there they go. Greasy staying alive for a long enough time to get the reinforcements back in. Very flies two rooms away. My mouse died out. There we go. Sorry guys. It's, my mouse is dying in the last few days and I need to get a new mouse. So, hope you can bear with me and my mouse problems. Now that I fixed the sound, finally I have started to have mouse problems. Now, yeah, look at that. That grind on the gate is just instant. With three phase now, every marine that jumps out is gonna be dead in a second. Look at that. And the bile bomb started as a finisher. So there we go. You see that backup phase gate would have helped them a lot. And marines are recycling this, and I think it's pretty much GG now. They're trying to do a desperate phase gate. Oh my god, look at that. Those sneaky sneaky marines. One patch of ground not covered by an infestation. If you're saying, oh, but it is covered in infestation. No, it's not because the... Uh, it's actually circular. And you have just a bit extra effect on it. But the uh, effect itself is just one point. That extra is just visual graphics. So, that cyst got it like to this, and this cyst got it like to the dog. This cyst has got it like this, and this cyst has got it like this. So there's a clear patch of ground. One more cyst here would have solved the problem. <laughs> Again, they got uh, the RT in uh, C lab, but just placed the web there to take care of it. And if this doesn't go good for Marines, the GL rush, it's pretty much gonna be it. Weapons two are out, you can hear by the sound. We got four fades on the field. But they're being cleared out like bosses. Look at that infestation pulling back. <laughs> GL in the face of that fade ends up killing Jones. Oh, Pipo almost ambushed by Beery. But those fades got too much help with the carapace.
Hmm. Nice process of thought by Weary, but it didn't do much. And Duplock saying GG. And this is it, guys. Hope you enjoy this. It's been a 24-5 minute match. And you all saw how it goes. The sub exercise is being dropped. And if not by this, the game would be over in like uh, two more minutes. So hope everyone's enjoyed this. Another alien win. After having so many other games, I think it's a nice change to see an alien win. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's always the same. So, aliens win. Hell yeah. Hope everyone enjoyed this and see you next round.